please, may I have your attention? I will tell you a story, the story of sunset. Yes, sunset, that magic moment between day and night, that fascinating and uncertain time, a full of mystery one. Sunset was born in that instant, free between nothing and infinity. His parents gave birth to him in front of a wonderful sunset too. His father is darkness and his mother light. And although they were different, like day and night, while sunset was the only possible moment to meet each other, they had no problem to marry, live and love in that unique, wonderful time. Since he was very young, Sansa saw that mother light as a world right for herself, where everything is white. Yes, I'm talking about the world of day, the world of the lightness of things. The world where live people with uh, white skin, thin lips, delicate faces. We can call them the day creatures. Mother Light lives there with clear rhythms. She rises and disappears following a road written by others, a right way with lines and directions. However, even Father Darkness has got his natural place the land of strangers and mysterious things, the realm of people with black skin or not white. It's the same. We can call them the night creatures. Well, what about sunset? Where is his place? When comes his time, believe me. It's not easy to be born right in the middle of day and night. The white creatures, since the very beginning of his life, speak to him like this. You wasn't born in this country, right? Where do you really come from? You speak like us, but there is something wrong in you. It's a long time that you live here with us. Tell me, how is your country? My countries? Sunset used to say. What are my countries? <laughs> I don't need any countries. I am Sunset. All the world or nothing. At the same time, meeting with the black night creatures was not so different. Hi, brother! You are quite black, but not so black. Where do you really come from? You don't talk like us. This is a very serious thing. There is something too white in you. Too black for whites, <laughs> too white for blacks. It might be a problem sometimes. Anyway, I was talking about the day creatures. You know, many of them are suspicious, uh, sometimes superficial, uh, but not so bad. They are just afraid uh, about themselves, uh, if you see what I mean. And who is not scared? The year passed, and Sunset saw that the problem of living was not only with people. Uh, which are fragile and complicated uh, as old as everybody, but with certain things inside ourselves. Fear, mistrust, rage, ignorance, and others. His first conflict with these enemies was uh, during his childhood, when Sunset met the world of toys. Toys, uh, I'm talking about toys, you know, the place made of fantasy, imagination, uh, plastic, uh, uh, funny characters, dolls, and uh, most of the time created uh, for the day creatures. They were, were often too wide for him. One day, he was so exhausted and, and, and took a puppet and started to stain the puppet with the black marker no? to, to make it more familiar. The same happened with the cartoons. The principal characters were too wide for him only for the day creatures. It was like uh, arriving uh, at dinner with food for everybody except him. Let's talk about comics uh, and movies. Uh, let's talk about Marvel, DC Comics. Uh, let's talk about superheroes. Uh, they can fly. They, they, they protect the wicked ones. Maybe, maybe he just wanted to protect himself. However, the only one not white was Hulk. Uh, he is green. 
first star who came right into his dreams was Michael Jackson. At the very beginning of his career, Michael was black. He could sing, he could dance, he could make great shows. Sunset couldn't ask more. Uh, Michael was loved by everyone, whites and blacks. What a disappointment when the pop star changed his color and became white. The most difficult period uh, was the carnival. The carnival, when the kids uh, used to put masks and, and costumes. In the first time, it was funny for him too. But after the third year, with the costume of uh, Aladdin, a perfect Aladdin, I, I agree, uh, he, he started to desire something new. The truth is that he wanted to be the Prince Charming. However, even when his parents uh, made him dress like the prince, people on the street, seeing him, said, Wonderful! What, what a great Aladdin! It seems so real! <laughs> One day, during the carnival, he put on a mask uh, of a sea monster and uh, walking around on the streets he put his hands in his pockets and so he, he discovered that, that in that way he felt quiet because uh, nobody could see his real color that was the time when he thought what is our true color the one which we see or the one seen by others. When he was a little kid, he had a discussion with his parents because uh, he looked at, at, at his hands and he said, uh, I, I am pink. <laughs> My color is pink. I am pink. But nobody believed him. In that period, uh, Sunset also understood that being able to reply to jokes uh, could be a good thing. But he didn't know how to reply to words like chocolate or, or worth. That was the real problem. How to reply? The adults usually told him, You don't have to get upset. If you got it as an insult, it means that you consider your skin as something bad. I might agree. But their intentions were the same to, to mock him, to laugh at him. The only answer he found was fighting with punches. He challenged the opponent at school with the usual typical words. I'll wait you outside. The moral is that he often uh, returned at home with a bruised face, but uh, uh, very satisfied and uh, full of pride. After a turbulent childhood, Sunset assumed that uh, each kid at school had a parent who saw his color in a different way. There were the curious ones like the mother of his best friend, who often asked him, to sunset, if in Africa they spoke African. <laughs> like, like if African is, a, is, a, is a only a nation, eh? not a continent, you know, with, with, uh, with different languages and countries. Others asked him if in Africa uh, lions go around, you know, in the streets, in the roads, even in the houses. Then there were the parents who admired him. What a nice color you have. <laughs> you see? <laughs> what a nice color if I have it. I have to go into the solarium every day. There were also the jealous ones. When you go to the sea, do you get a sunburn? No. Lucky you, because you don't have to protect yourself. I, I want to tell you right now, it's not true. <laughs> Sunset must protect himself. I was forgetting the adults uh, who never knew how to call uh, him. Uh, do, do, you, do you know that kid? Uh, his name? Uh, I don't remember that. Da, come on, the, the kid in the school, the boy, the, 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 uh, the, the black one. Uh, I don't want to offend anyone. Okay, uh, this is the problem. Uh, I, I understand the difficulties, but why? Why you have to say I don't want to offend anyone? This is what ruins everything. But who are the best ones? Not those that just fight for equality. Because it's not true that we are all banally equal to each other. But everybody superbly different and unique. Not the supporters of tolerance. Because we have not to tolerate the differences. 
we have to love them. They are our true richness. I'm talking about those who consider colors as simple details, details which are just part of the outline. The important things are inside us, in our heart. Me too. I don't know if I have understood it well, because uh, a lot of times I've given uh, more importance to my skin than me, all the times that I have hidden it. Finally, is there something that makes us equal? Maybe we all extremely need to know ourselves, to understand who we are, and the other ones perhaps could help us or they could confuse our mind more. Thanks to very little stuff, as the color is, the way of laughing, the way of walking, the way you say hi, the way of kissing, and so on. However, if people could live happy with their true differences, if once in a while, not ever, each one of us don't blame the others every time we have a problem, colors, would be so important, and the true, precious differences, so invisible. But if sometimes you feel like sunset, try to ask for help with all your voice. And if people didn't hear you, scream more until someone, even just one, will be able to listen and understand. Then, join it together, both of you will hear a music and you will start to dance, to fly, because this and just this we should have done since all began. <laughs>